So I'm here at NLS Days, day two, and I'm standing here with uh, Tobias Hornman Tilke of uh, uh, Air Ventures. Hello, Tobias. Yeah, nice to meet you, Jonas. Uh, very nice. Uh, tell me a little bit about Air Ventures, the fund. Uh, you've been active for about a year and a half. Uh, what are you looking for in particular here? Yeah, so so I have interest. We are a Nordic life, life science fund. Uh, we have 125 million euro, and uh, we have allocated two thirds for the Nordic countries of the fund. That is our mandate. So we have a specific focus on the Nordics and trying to to uh, to really stimulate uh, the life science uh, in this region. We also have a mandate on one third of the fund that can go beyond the Nordics. So it can be in US or it can be in in Europe. Uh, in this, um, first of all, I think it has been a great uh, conference. Uh, we had had very many interactions with a lot of different companies. We have heard some great, uh, com some great presentations. And we also have met a lot of, uh, of colleagues. And so, so there are different, there are different uh, things that we are looking for. So first, first of all, it's actually important for us to have the meetings with the other venture co uh, companies so we can we can make sure that we have the right connections we we make sure that we uh, we know what they are looking for we can also present to them our companies and uh, and uh, and uh, what they are raising for example we have different uh, portfolio companies that are now doing series a for example is that relevant for some of the funds outside so so that's that's actually a big part of this exercise is is to have that uh, network and and uh, and uh, to have these discussions and then of course it's also very nice to to meet all these companies and uh, and i have to say it's 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 really been a pleasure. People are very nice, and and uh, one of the things here with the Nordics is, of course, the, the quality of science and the the, the very high level uh, of that. And 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 we have met that a lot of times. Great innovation. Also, uh, people are really coming up with uh, some interesting approaches, uh, trying to change uh, the disease paradigms. So so I think that has uh, that has been really interesting. And uh, seeing as we have a very, well, a particular situation in the world today, uh, have you made any specific observations in regards to the current market climate? It, it's, a, it's a really good question. Uh, it's, it's, it's problematic because you can see that, that the, 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 the public sector is it's, it's crashing right now within biotech, but it's crashing within a, in a lot of sectors. And, uh, and, and, and some of the things that we have observed is, of course, that we are, through the deal flow that we are having, we, of course, know many of the companies. Uh, and, and when we meet them again, it is, uh, I can see that, that some companies are struggling now to get, to get uh, the financing that they need. It's, 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 it's difficult times. Uh, so, so, so it's important. And... I've talked about this before a little bit, but but it's important that that the companies really um, look uh, into how they can create value, also for those that will be investing, because um, a lot of the companies they have they have pushed this forward. They have, of course, sacrificed a lot, right? Worked a lot on this, also put money and stuff like that. But it's now we are in a situation when we look at the public market, it's declining 40, 50, 60 percent sometimes, right? Even more over half a year. And it's not happening in the private sector. So we still have companies going around and thinking that their valuation is extremely high. But you can actually maybe go out and have a public company that is already on the market with a, with a valuation that is sometimes much lower. And that's a problem. So, so, so they need to begin to reevaluate what is it actually worth, and then make it attractive for the investors also to see themselves in this journey that they have to fall, go on. Because it, when you invest, you go together. When you invest, you both you want to leverage on the things that you do. So, so I think to to begin to think about uh, how can you be more attractive. Uh, in a financing uh, environment that is just under pressure. I think that is, that is really important. And 
what would your best advice be then to a company to, to accomplish just that, to be attractive for investors in this, in this current climate? I think, I think to, to go into an open and honest dialogue uh, and, uh, and, uh, and be upfront with, with the thoughts around where they are, but also very early on, be flexible. Be flexible, the, the rigidity, rigidity uh, it's, this is not the time for that. If you, if you want to drive your company forward, be flexible, think out of the box, and look, look about this collaboration in a different way. I think that is important. And uh, rounding off then, um, what, are you, what are you planning to do for the rest of the conference? Well, I, I, I still have some meetings uh, that I will attend. I will also have to maybe go for, uh, for lunch and, uh, and, uh, and uh, then I will uh, probably uh, head home uh, so uh, after this. So, but it has been a great conference. It was a pleasure talk talking to you, Tobias. Uh, thank you very much. Yeah, thank you very much. Nice to be here. Thank you.